Hey, it's your boy Ken A. Snow Slayton. Okay, so I know I don't do story times like this, and this really ain't really a story time, but it's just a mindset. It's raining right now. I'm gonna hit the gym, looking raggedly into the uh, to the morrow until I get to shave and everything. But uh, I just want to say, like, when I'm on the girl, my Aries Venus come out a lot. Like, I'm love at first sight, telling you how I want to make future plans with you, want to make things happen, and I move a little too fast sometimes. I know that's my issue, but. I have to kind of be consistent like that. If I don't, then I'll drift off to somebody else or I get in a situation where maybe I'm not so inspired to be with you because the distance. Now, everybody know I dated a Leo and it's been a lot of YouTube about me bashing Leo, which I don't because I had Leo try to kill me once and I still try to date another Leo. I don't shy away from one sign because the last sign did me some way. I just put up a caution sign saying like, look, you know what's up with this. Well, with that being said, like, uh, I just want to say, like, me having a Gemini moon, since y'all want me to do native charts and stuff a little bit more, um, I have two split personalities, two ways of looking at things. Sometimes I'm, like, more on the love and down the heart, ride or die type feel, and sometimes I'm, like, on just fuck the world, fuck the world, I don't care. So with her, uh, when we trying to date her and stuff, I try to be, like, everything I could possibly do to, to, to turn the narrative. The narrative is I cut women off fast, which I don't believe I do. There's reason behind it. But I cut women off fast. I promise things. I don't commit to them sometimes. And I just wanted to talk to her every day because I felt like if we could build a wall of uh, identi identifying each other, it would be stronger for us to make a long-term uh, long relationship work. She already out in Dallas and stuff. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? I ain't mind spending the money to get her a plane ticket to Atlanta. We we're going to spend the whole weekend together. Nice five-star hotel. You know, I do a big. But uh, I don't know. It's just something about, like, you're not. That's just one side of me, right? So I'm not a mushy, mushy person. I can be sometimes. And when I'm mushy, mushy, that's like a gift to you. My sensitivity is my gift to you. Because I can be just, fuck it, have a nice day type of thing. So, um... Uh, I guess the best way of saying that is I felt like my feelings were taken uh, for granted. And then I felt like a punk when she called me a serial dater and I need attention like a kid. And for 15 minutes a day of talking, I need that because I got options if I wanted options. But just to make this long story short, and I'm going to keep bringing this story up probably is right now I'm converted to the other side of my Gemini, which is like I want money. I want to be successful. I want to grind. I'll have friends, but I'm not in a lovey-dovey relationship uh, mode right now. And the lovey dubbiness kind of made me sick to my stomach. Now, everything I did sensitively, anything I did uh, with sensitiveness in it for her is now like a throw-up mode to me. Ugh. I don't like it now. Because I feel like I'm a punk. And maybe she's right. I am a serial dater. And all the stuff she said about me, I'm starting to feel like maybe I did too much. But uh, with that being said... Uh, check out Dysfunctional Story Time tomorrow. We work on an amazing skit. It's going to take a while. I'm getting AJ. I'm getting my new homeboy coming through to do it. Uh, I can't release it. They probably release it around Thanksgiving. So I'm going to give you some uh, to look at. It's going to be very inspiring. It's going to be funny too. You know, I'm going to got some jokes in there for y'all. And I just want to say I appreciate y'all uh, staying tuned to us. This is your boy, King Nation Nova Slate, Nova Chronicles. Peace.